Hey guys, I'm a Sonic Shuffle, and welcome to another episode of Spyro Heroes Tale. We finally got that introduction right, and on this episode, we'll be going over there and see what awaits us, really. And uh, on the last episode, we actually took care of Sergeant Bird, and that's the second time we had to play as him. But, I mean, he's not that bad. I mean, surprisingly, it took me like two or, I think like two tries on easy. And then it took me one try on hard for Sergeant Bird, so, I mean, it's, it's not that hard. Um, by the way, there is a light gem down there. Sat unfortunately, even if you were to make it down there, you can't get it. Because you need to be able to wall jump, and we can't do that yet. So, yeah, we're going to actually save that for a while later. So, yeah, you can do that, just so... Uh, that can lower and you can go in there if you want to, but we're, we can't do anything, so there's like absolutely no point. So might as well just head over here, destroy these, and then destroy the... Duh! Oh my god, that actually legit scared me. And we can destroy the Dark Gem, and that's the last Dark Gem of Cloudy Domain. We still have a little bit more to do. So don't worry, we're not done with the Cloudy Domain yet, and we're probably not going to be for a while just because we have to get like... A couple things later on because we don't we can't get it now. Let's actually check how many light gems we have. We have 31. That's actually a decent amount. Um, because we're actually gonna be able to do something very very soon. So yeah. Um, before I go over there, I actually want to check what's over here just in case there's anything over here. I'm not sure there's gonna be any chest gems or anything. No, don't know why they would just put that right there. But anyway, they could have just made it like part of the scenery. I guess I don't know. Anyway, this is the ball gadget. The ball gadget last time was to travel to another world. This time, like I said, when it was to travel to another world, that was the only time we were going to use that, really. Um, every other time, it's going to be for um, doing this kind of stuff, where we had to get a dragon egg or a light jump. Now, the first time when you do a dragon egg, when you get when you do it for a dragon egg, you um. The, the course differs from from when you do it for Dragon Egg and when you do it for Light Jump. So does the time. I will I believe the time may get actually longer when you do it for Light Jump because it's a little bit more difficult. But, um... Yeah, the controls for this are pretty simple, actually. Uh, it's R to boost, it's L to stop, and it's A to jump. So, yeah, that's, that's just about it. And sometimes... You may not want to boost off of ramps because you may end up going too far. That's the thing. Um, so hopefully, if I make this in one try, that'd be awesome, but I doubt I will. And my R button's kind of messed up for my GameCube controller. Awesome, we actually made it past that. Usually I run into those. And you have to run into the Dragon Egg. If you miss the Dragon Egg, you will just fall off. I've actually fallen off before. So you can do this for a light gem. So we're going to be doing it for a light gem. And that was actually awesome. We actually got to, uh, like I said, 120. Um, well, I'm not sure if I said it, but I thought 120. Anyway. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, for a light gem, the paths are going to change. And I just messed up. <coughs> and it just coughed. Um, like I said, I still have a cold. Um, try to shake it off, but hopefully I'll get better. I'll, awesome, dude. Did you just see that? By the way, like I said, you may overshoot it if you boost off of ramp, so make sure when you go off of ramp, you don't boost. That's just my advice to you, and I just messed up. Hopefully it doesn't affect long-term stuff, but it probably will. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, you probably won't want to do that there either. I tried and almost died. I didn't even do anything. What did I do wrong? Uh, I'm going to have to do this again. Hopefully we won't mess up like running into those poles and stuff. At least we got the Dragon Egg on try. I still can't... I almost can't believe it. Like, I just nonchalantly got it. I did get it with three seconds left, though, so... Crap! Again, I think I ran into the same one again. So it's like, really? Really? Okay. Slow down for the ramp. 
And like I said, my R button's messing up a little bit, but, you know. I can still get through this. Like when I did with Hunt with uh, Hunter. If you remember that, oh my god, guys. If you remember that, that was probably the most horrible episode ever. Um, for some reason my recording software crashed on me, like in the middle of recording, so I have to kill myself just to get back here. Anyway, uh, we can get the light gem again. Uh, thank god I didn't, like, go all the way, like, I caught it when it happened. Like, oh my god, I can't even imagine if I had gotten that light gem and it had not recorded that, I would have been so mad. Like, mad. I would have been so mad. I would have bought a vintage Mad Magazine. I don't know. <laughs> I was so mad. Oh god! By the way, I cannot promote this enough, this like cartoon that I saw. But, it's not a cartoon, it's more like a parody. But like, um, it's Mad Mad Mario. I know I've talked about this a couple times in my last few Let's Plays, but man, it is hilarious. It is hilarious, oh my god. <laughs> just to hear Mario is like swearing like and he's like really just swearing jeez I mean he's just like like you cannot even watch that in front of children just because it's like oh my god oh my god mmm see you guys back when I was cause I don't wanna I don't want you guys to be like, hey, I don't want to watch this anymore, so I'll see you guys back down there. Okay, I'm back down here, and uh, I'm about to go through this tunnel thing in 2.5. So I'm done talking about Mad Mad Mario because I'm actually going to end up like him. Um, but yeah. I just want to get this light jump, like, and it's not even that hard, it's just like, I can't do it. There we go, okay, slow down, get the freaking light jump, because if you miss that light jump, you have to do that over again. No, I actually didn't want to do that over again, no. No, I want to exit, okay. So cool, we did everything we needed to do, cool, cool, I'm so cute. Anyway, um, as you can probably see... Not sure if you can tell or not, but actually, what? Wait. Hmm. This is actually pretty interesting. Um. No, I want to go back to where the the freaking go back to uh the the home world of coastal remains. I guess if you want to call it that. But I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all you can do. Right now in Coastal Remains, so, I mean, not Coastal Remains, but Cloudy Domain, they're like the same difference, you know what I mean? The exact same difference. So you want to go down here and press the switch. Make sure you press the switch because um, later you're going to actually, um, well, not, you're never really going to need it, but it's just in case you need to ever go back. You won't have to, like, teleport over there. You could just go up there like that. And that's that's a good reason to do that, I guess, if you want to call that a good reason. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be lazy. So what you want to do is teleport to, uh, you know what? It has to be over here, over here, where you gotta teleport. We're gonna start on something else today. I cannot like get enough of Spyro's black feet. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a regular thing or not, but that's just kind of weird to me. Just something I want to, I like, actually wanted to point out. Um, let's see, actually see where we're going. Is Spyro stuck in the sand? You see that? He's like actually in the sand. What is that? I've actually never noticed that before. That's really weird. All right. Um. Anyway, we can get these gems, and like I said, I, I still don't know where we're going. Um, I guess we'll go this way. I guess we'll go this way. 
Yeah, because we didn't explore it yet, and there's some stuff up here, so... Yes. Yes. You could do that, or you could use your electricity breath, which we have not used in a while. Over on them. But yeah, I recommend for small enemies, I recommend uh, fire because it takes them out a lot faster. And I don't understand. Oh god! Oh god! Okay. I don't understand why they had to put piranhas in here. Can I break the. I'm, I thought I was supposed to be able to break the sign. Anyway. Oh, I was playing another game and I broke the sign. I was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know. I was playing. Actually, you want to jump over here. Get some gems. That's always important. So. Please make it. Yes! Yes! Yas. Yas. I'm gonna keep doing that every time I like do something good. Wait, no! Go, 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 go. Spiral, go, go. Oh, jeez. Ow. Have mercy. I will give a dollar to anyone who gets that joke. Anyway, well, you should. I don't know. Yeah, it was from a pretty popular show. It's not. It's still remotely popular, like kind of, but it's not. Ah! Oh, hey, hey! I'm still alive. I thought I was dead, so I let go of my controller. I'm dead now. Well, let's wait it till I get over there. To what? Let's just wait till I get over there to the cave, uh, I guess. Okay, I finally made it onto this clam shell thing. And then now, we can go in here and get a dragon egg. But first, let's get all the gems. Did I get every single last gem? Yes, I did. Alright, alright, dude. Anyway, you would think you'd be able to break through this wall, but you can't. And you can see, like, the green over there. I think that's nice. I think that's nice. Alright, so we can go up here. And we can swim with the piranhas! Yeah! No! 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 That was a very bad idea. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm, I'm gonna see you next episode when we head over there. And let's see what's over there. It won't be. Go to the next episode, so. See you guys later. Have a Sonic Shuffle, and bye.